Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is our second lesson about DS Visualizer. And in this lesson, I will tell you about the file menu of the DS Visualizer. Our today's lesson's objectives are to download the PDB structure from PDB site. Our second objective is to open the downloaded structure in your DS Visualizer by going to File and then opening the structure. The second method we will learn about opening PDB structure into your DS Visualizer is to import the protein structure and we will also learn how to import the ligand structures into DS Visualizer by going to your File menu and then clicking on the Open URL button. Our fourth objective of today's lesson is importing the protein or the ligand structure by going to file menu and then clicking on the insert from option. Then we will learn how to close the currently opened window by going to file menu and then selecting the close option. Our sixth objective of today's lesson is saving the changes you made in your structure by going to file and then clicking on the save option or save as option. Our seventh objective of today's lesson is going to file menu and then seeing the print preview or printing the image of the current window of the DS Visualizer. Our eighth objective is to see the recently opened files by going to file and then selecting the option recent file. And the last objective of our today's lesson is how to close or exit the DS Visualizer. So now let's start and complete the first task that is downloading the PDB structure from PDB site. So for this purpose, you will have to open your Chrome browser or any other browser. Then here, search for PDB. Click on this RCSB PDB homepage. Search for any protein like insulin, which is a hormone. And then click on any of these structures of insulin. For example, this is insulin. This one is human insulin analog. So I'm going to click on this structure. After you open this page, then go to download files, which is located here. And then go to PDB format. You can also get the faster sequence of this protein. But uh, today's lesson's objective is to download this PDB format of this structure. So just click on it. So this is the structure that is now downloaded, 1zni.pdb. This structure can be opened by directly clicking on this downloaded file. So if you just click on it, this structure will be opened in your DS Visualizer. Yes, now this is opened in your DS Visualizer. Now you can rotate it, you can select it, you can zoom in and zoom out the structure. Okay, now close this structure. No. Now let's find the folder where this structure has been downloaded. Go to this show in folder. So we have our structures here in this folder, which is the downloads folder. But I am going to copy it and pasting on the desktop for easy access. So one Z and I. Our second objective is to open the downloaded structure with the file menu. So how to open it? Okay, to open, just go to file, open, go to desktop and then search for 1zni which is here select it and click open so your structure is now opened in discovery studio visualizer our third objective is to import a protein or ligand structures into your ds visualizer by file open url that is directly from your url you can close this currently opened window by going to file and then close your currently opened window will be closed now go to file, open URL, this window will be opened and here type the name of the protein. For example, we can give any name like, suppose I'm going to give this name 4OGA. So type here 4OGA and you don't need to change this, but you have to change this because here it is saying that PDB ligand. So we are not downloading the ligand, just go to this default PDB structures and then for OGA and then open. Uh, yes, your structure has been directly imported from the PDB database into your Discovery Studio Visualizer. Now let's import a ligand structure. To import a ligand structure, go to open URL. Now you will have to select this and go to ligand. Go to this PDB ligands model and now type any ligands name here. For example, I know about one of the ligands, which is heme. So type him here and then open. 
your heme ligand structure has been imported from pdb database so this is the heme structure our next objective is to importing a protein or ligand file by file insert from different sources like from the offline folder from url or from smile to import any protein structure or ligand structure by file insert from menu you will have to first open a window molecular window first so open new and molecule window now we will insert a structure from offline folder or from online here in this window file insert from insert from a file or download a structure which is one cni and then click open so now it will be inserted into this opened window another way is to import from some url so to import a structure from a url you can also insert another structure into the same window like for example insert from a url for example we are inserting a heme so open so now heme has been imported and you can see the heme here this is now imported and have been inserted into the same window but if you want to insert it into another window first you will have to open a new window molecule window and then go to file insert from url and then heme and it will be inserted into this new window again new molecule window and now let's import a protein change this to pdb structure type 1hbr which is chicken hemoglobin and open now your chicken hemoglobin has been imported into your new open window our next objective is to bring a drug structure or an organic compound small molecule structure by its smiles code to see the smiles code we will have to go to the zinc database to go to the zinc database you will have to type here zinc 15 database this is zinc 15 so click on it now go to substances and here search for any drug for example paracetamol which is a drug and i'm searching for the smiles of the paracetamol so this is the structure of paracetamol click on this structure here is the smile of paracetamol so just copy this smiles copy it go to your discovery studio visualizer open a new molecular window and then go to insert from smile just paste your copied smile here this is the smile of paracetamol that we just copied from zinc 15 database and then click ok this is the paracetamol structure which has been inserted into your this current window you can also insert the same paracetamol structure here in the same window go to this and then insert from smile paste and then ok so here is the drug paracetamol structure if you can see it here yes this is i can see it here it has been inserted into the molecule our next objective is to closing the current window by file and close option so go to file close and it will ask you if you want to save the changes you can say no so only the current window will be closed not the whole ds visualizer our next objective is to saving the changes by going to file save or save as so go to file click on save and it will ask you if you want to save this structure into a file so type the name of the file paracetamol select the format of the structure so this is discovery studio file and this is the mold uh, mdl mold sd files this is mold 2 file this is protein data bank files format so there are a lot of different types of formats in which you can save this structure but i am going to save this in for example sd files so just save and it will be saved on your desktop then there is another menu menu save as you can save the same thing with a different name if you want to so save as and give it a different name for example paracetamol 1 2 etc and then select the format of the file for example this time discovery studio file format and then save it our next objective is to see the print preview and how to print the current window image on the paper 
for example you want to print this structure on paper first you will have to see the print preview or you can also set up the page go here and then you can set the page the headers and footers for the page on which you want to print it you can also set it as a landscape or a portrait now for the time being close it go to print preview so on the page it will be printed like this with black background and then the structure to print the structure on a paper go to file and then print it will ask you about the printer name so select the printer name uh, my computer is not connected this time to any of the printers if you are connected to the printer then it will be printed on a paper with that printer cancel it the eighth object is to seeing the recent files that have been opened so go to file recent files so these were the recent files that we had opened with our ds visualizer this is paracetamol this one is also paracetamol these are the two formats that we saved the structure with this is one zni you can just click on it and one zni structure will be opened in a new window our last objective is to how to close the ds visualizer but before closing our window i'm going to tell you about two three other things that we left in the file menu those are protein sequence window and script window and nucleotide sequence window as this is a protein so we will go to protein sequence window so click on file new and then protein sequence window if you want to see the sequence of this protein structure right click here insert sequence from window and then select the molecule which is one zni and click ok so this is the sequence of this opened protein structure and then in the same new you have nucleotide sequence window if here we had a dna structure then we would have to click on nucleotide sequence window this is the last option script window so this window is for those who uh, knows programming if you are a programmer then you can use this script window for programming you can close this window by clicking on this you can also close this one click on this to close this and then at the end click on exit do you want to save the changes if you want to save the changes click on yes otherwise no if you clicked on yes then it will ask about uh, for example if uh, there is any new window opened then it will ask you about the name of the file and the location where you want to save it uh, but uh, we are not going to save the changes here so we are just going to click on no option so it will be closed so this was our last objective so thank you for watching my videos so inshallah in our third lesson we will talk about the second menu of the ds visualizer so till then bye